Hello everyone and welcome to your channel TechWine. In this video, let's see the walkthrough for this lab and I will suggest to use the Chrome browser to perform this lab. First of all, start your lab. Now use the incognito window to log into your cloud console. In the console, go to this search bar and type data prep. Now open this in a new tab. You have to simply accept all the terms and conditions. Click allow. Now choose your account. Click allow again. Once you are done with all these, you can go back to the lab and check the progress for the first task. Now you have to download a zip file. Go to the description of this video and in the description you will find a link for my github repository. And from this repo you can simply download this file. Click on this button. And your file will be downloaded. Click on this plans. Now click on this import, choose files, then simply upload the zip file. Once it is done, double click on this plan. Now press a right click on this first one, click view flow. Again press a right click on this training input and click on this edit parameters. After that, we will replace our project ID. First of all, remove everything. Now go back to the lab and copy your ID. Then simply paste it. Click on this update matches. Now click on update. Once it is done, double click on this output. And you will be redirected to this interface. Now hover your mouse on this and click on this more actions. Then click delete. Now we will add the new action. Click on it. Now go back to the lab and move to the task number 7. And if you will scroll down, you will find this path. Copy this. Then go back and click on this pencil icon then first of all remove everything from this box then paste the path for the project ID again go back to the lab copy your ID then carefully replace it click on this go create a new file then click on this parameterized destination and for this box also remove everything go back to the lab and copy this path then paste it after that what you have to do you have to bring your mouse cursor between these two forward slashes after that click on this add variable and for the variable name go back to the lab and copy this variable name then paste it for the default value copy this value then paste it and click on save then click submit and from the right section click on this replace this file every run then in the more options you have to select this checkbox and click on add now you can click on this run button. Ok now the execution is started. Go back to the cloud console and open the cloud shell. In the cloud shell we have to run a single command.
and you will find this command from the lab scroll down a bit and from the task number 9 copy this command then paste it and hit enter click authorize once the command executes again go back to the lab now open this link in the incognito window now first of all we have to allow the cookies for our browser click on this icon then click site not working then click allow cookies now sign in to your google account and you will find this key copy it and save it somewhere now go back to the data prep now go back to the data prep and you will see the execution is completed again open the plans now double click on it we have to again make some changes first of all let's replace the url remove this go back to the lab and from the last task you will find this url simply paste it for headers remove this then type b and you will find this option bearer click on it then provide a space now copy the token then simply paste it scroll down for the body first of all remove everything go back to the lab again copy the body open your notepad then paste the content for the body let me zoom in a bit now we have to make some changes copy your gcp id and in the place of your bucket name we will replace it now copy the whole body then go back click on this save once your configuration is saved click on this run now you have to simply wait and watch till the process is completed or you can go back to the lab and check the progress for the task number 10 and after this till the process is completed you can subscribe to our channel techwine for the future updates and lab solutions now let's see if our process is completed and you can see our process is completed go back to the lab and check the progress for all the remaining tasks if you are getting the error message for the last task don't worry you simply have to wait for some time after that if you will try to check the progress you will get the green tick now let's check the progress and you can see it is done congratulations you have successfully completed this lab please consider subscribing if the video was helpful see you all in the next lab solution till then stay safe stay healthy